Let's get started. I actually didn't realize until just now, that's the kitchen. I could never really get a good view of how that, uh, Ow! what that room looks like. Still. I was wondering where the hell they were. Alright, how do I actually... Oh, I can act... Wow. I never knew you could actually block. Hold on. Because this game's so dark, I have to turn off my desk lamp. There's too much glare on my screen. Actually, there's still some glare coming from my second monitor, but I can't really help that. Alright, run with shift. It's pretty neat that you can block up all things. Alright, tab is... Brings up the inventory. wonder if this is new. Like, uh, for anyone that's been living under a rock and has no idea what to make of this, and this might be their first time seeing it either now or in the VOD, uh, this is a promotional teaser for Resident Evil 7. And, uh, this guy right here, the guy holding the kid, that is this guy's home. We will actually find that out in a little bit. I don't want to reveal too much. Can I crouch? Yeah. Let's see. There's actually a lot of... Hold on. I'm going to turn this up a little bit more on my end there. Can't grab anything. This is missing. I'd have to say, this is playing pretty damn well, considering... And it looks pretty damn good, too. Considering I don't have top-of-the-line stuff in my computer. I mean, I have... my computer's pretty powerful. That's pretty neat. Can I close this door again? I don't think I noticed. Nobody ever shuts the door behind them. I could go right down here if I want to. I don't want to do that just yet. A mirror that doesn't work.
dummy finger. Now, for anyone that, again, has been living under a rock and hasn't been following this game, uh, before they added in the final update, the dummy finger was basically useless. There, it was just there to tease you about what's to come. Crash in a stove. Ugh. Oh my god! I never noticed there were maggots in there, it's disgusting. I don't like I don't like bugs in games, I don't. That's really fucking loud. Hey, I have to actually watch the video to do that. A lot of people don't seem to be, uh, like, inspecting a lot of the, uh, scenery. Or maybe they do, and I just miss it. I don't think that, that picture in particular has to do with anything, though. really scare me, but I don't ever remember that happening before. Oh, oh. Inside's moving, all the maggots. They're getting, <laughs> they're getting, a. Uh, they're starting to get a little too real with the insects for my taste. inspect this, can I? No, I can't. I thought I could. Oh, there we are. Examine. Derelict house. All you can do is just look at it. Kinda sucks. Alright, I got the videotape. Hey, Joel. And here's the part everybody sees. Multiple times. Boo! Where did you find this guy? Give me a break, Pete. Hey, I only work with professionals. Speaking of which, make sure the sound is right this time. I don't want a repeat of Amarillo. That was two fucking years ago. I don't do ADR. Apparently ghost sightings and tape too. Guy? I'm not feeling it. Again? Just don't be surprised if we have to make a change. New plan. We do a walkthrough of the inside first, then we shoot the intro. 
Apparently you can see Lisa Just try to save the in the forest at some point. Okay? No problem. Tonight on Sewer Gators, another worthless fucking shithole. Happy? Ecstatic. Thought I saw something move. Are we rolling? All right, let's go. <clears throat> Get out of the way. It's locked. After you. I am seriously considering so, buying this, like, on day one. Time? Do you ever prep? What's the prep? Shitty house, spooky sounds? Ooh, is it haunted? Fuck me. I was an anchor, you know? We can sub, Pete. Not anchor. What's that? Nothing. What's the story, Andre? Abandoned farmhouse, missing family, foul play suspected. The usual. Might have missed her. I know there's a ghost that appears right there. How long did you say this place has been abandoned? Three years. <coughs> the door shut. <coughs> Clancy, get a shot of this. Let's make a great cutaway. So, uh, Hillbilly Joe and his family go missing. Not Hillbillies, the Bakers. Jack and Marguerite Baker. And they were quiet, not backward. A lot of bad rumors about their son, Lucas. Bad seat, apparently. Ah, shit! I know I should have worn my good shoes. Oh, shit. Glad I had my shots. Although, this would make a great backdrop. Andre, what do you think? Andre? Andre! Andre! Clancy, you see where Andre went? Where is he? Unfucking believable This is the last time I worked with that guy. I mean, producers, they come and go, but a, a good cameraman like you, Clancy, you stick with me. Does something happen if you go up here? No, it doesn't look like it. There might be a ghost sighting, I think, here, too, and I think I missed it. Like I said, this game's not really going to surprise me that much, I don't think because I've watched this multiple times. What the fuck was that? I didn't hear a lot of these sounds did though, you hear whenever that? I did. I also put it on virtual surround, so maybe that helps. Andre! Where the fuck is he? Can't open that. Andre, where are you, man? Hey. I can't close the door. You should always close the door behind you, then you can uh, hear someone coming when they open the door. What the hell? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Alright, new deal. We, we find Andre and we go. I mean, fuck this show. I mean, you just have to go up to it. Yeah, you're kind of drawn to it. He dead. Where the hell did he put this note here? I shall dash them against the stones. I shall dash you against the stones. And nothing on the back of it. 
You can't take it. Okay, so actually, I'm going to get the first ending right off the bat. Because it's actually quite easy to get. You basically follow what you did in the video. Bugs. They won't let you go down, by the way, because there's no ladder there this time. Family man, and he's gone. Let's see what happens when we insult him by trying to leave. Although, you can use... Oops. Yeah, I'm trying to use it on that. Not examine. Combine. There we are, use. I can't use it here? Oh, wait! I know, that's for the, uh, the front door. That's right. Or that's for the back door. No, but there's something I found in the video. There's a lockpick I found in the video. And wasn't it back here? Oops. Maybe you don't pick it up in the video? Maybe you just see that it's there, so it appears here when... Alright, I'll have to remember that for the next part. Hey, did I look at this? I looked at it in the video. Ew, ew. That actually bot does bother me. <laughs> I hate roaches. There's certain things that you have to do in certain orders, in order to be able to do different things. I knew that was coming. And so, this is the ending that most people ended up getting. <laughs> Welcome to the family, son. You get family manned. He also looks different ever since they updated this. He used to be... have much lower textures and he look really bloody. Still. We gotta get the hell out of here! Come on! Bad ending. Welcome to the family. January 24th, 2017. January 20th. It's actually releasing two days later in Japan. Okay, so that's the worst ending that you can get. You can also answer the phone, and I think it counts as the same ending. The ban ending. Or the band. The bad ending. Hold on a second. Uh, is my mic too loud? I wonder, I f wonder if I forget to... Why did I go back to full screen? Oh, god damn it. There we are. No, it's at 70. Or it's at 60. Maybe I was just talking too loud. Alright.
I moved the mic a little bit farther away from my face, so hopefully it's not... I'm constantly worried that I'm blowing out people's ears <clears throat> because the, uh... The mic receive is, like, going up to max whenever I, uh... Whenever I'm talking. Okay, so let's get the next one. Can we skip this? Yeah, we can. Don't need to watch that again. Now, from what I've heard about uh, Resident Evil 7, it's rumored that there won't be any cameos from any of the characters of the previous cast, or at the very most, there might be one. Uh, Capcom also did say, I don't know exactly where, most of the information I get is actually from uh, another streamer called uh, Carcinogen SDA. And I hope I just remember, like, what he says correctly most of the time. Um, <clears throat> he, uh... From what I got from him about what Capcom has said, it does... Everything that happened in any of the previous games is Kanan. From 1 to 6. Yes, 6 is still part of the story. They did not retcon that out. Not yet, anyway. So, all the new characters that had joined up, Helena Harper... Well, Piers is dead. Spoiler alert. And, uh... Jake Mueller. They're all part of the story. The whole thing with Raccoon City, everything like that. All of that happened. So, if you were concerned that they're rebooting the series... They did, and they... They are and they aren't, because this is a different direction that they're taking. Now, some people seem to get the weird idea that this game is going to be, like, Amnesia or Outlast. And on the surface, looking at it, you would be right, except no, because Capcom... And actually, even with the final update to this uh, teaser... What sets this apart from games like that is that you can actually defend yourself in this game, which I like. So it actually, this is actually more akin to, and I've like said this multiple times too, and so is Carsey, Car that this game is going to be more like, if you had to compare it to something, it's more like Alien Isolation than if it, something like Amnesia or Outlast. I can't actually go down there now, but I still want to look around a little bit more. Okay, yeah, I think when I watch the video, uh, I don't, I look at it, but I don't pick it up, and then it'll be there. Oh, I can actually turn the faucet off. I think there's supposed to be an axe in there, too, but I don't know how to trigger it. But, uh, what I was saying earlier, the reason why I said that even, like, this demo in its current form now kind of puts the rumors to bed that this game is going to be an Amnesia or an Outlast clone is because you can defend yourself. You have the axe, which you can swing. There's also a gun that they put in this, uh, version, too. Which really, um, it doesn't do much to protect you. But they're introducing you to what's going to happen in the full game. Alright, I don't need to go that way, actually. What I do want to do... Let's go upstairs and look around. Actually, I should get the dummy finger, though. Oh, 
Oh, you, you can actually walk into those. I didn't even know that. I thought they actually had collision. Hi, CC. Alright, I can go up the stairs. It's not responding. Oh yeah, I need the fuse. Oh, Jesus! Uh, I don't remember that. I could have sworn I just saw... Eyes. I'm not gonna lie, mannequins are in fact a little frightening. I kind of contribute that to uh, uh, the first condemned. Or attribute that, not contribute. I'm doing alright. I didn't even think that they were going to release this teaser on PC. I thought it was going to be like a, uh, a console exclusive. Yes, there is handgun ammo. There's no water in the tank. <clears throat> oh yeah, I need the valve. Blank notebook. I don't know if that does anything. I'm gonna attempt to get the uh, the dirty coin in this playthrough. It's locked. I wonder if I need the same key for that, or if I need a different one. I know there's a fuse, I just don't remember how to get it. I wonder if you have to watch the video in order to do that. Oh, there's a the fuse. Okay, you can't get the key unless uh, you watch the video. That mannequin's gone. God, I never heard any of these sound effects. It was always so soft whenever I watched it on stream. There is a way to get back there. I think that's actually how you're supposed to get to the, uh... To the real exit. Oh, no, wait, this is it. There is nothing that way. <clears throat> and this is the only thing that connects this to the other games. That is, in fact, an Umbrella logo. Why Mr. Family Hand has... Family hand. Uh, why Mr. Family Man has the photo, I don't know. Are they watching us from that helicopter? 
Oh, I didn't even realize the uh, the note on the back. Who knows, maybe Umbrella's still a factor in 7. If you've noticed the videotape... It's a little odd that it's on a VHS tape of all things, but um... If you did notice, uh... When you watch the videotape, it does say 2017, so it's not like this is in a different... ...year. <clears throat> Can't get in there. You also cannot get out of here yet. You know, thinking about this, I really should play er, Layers of Fear at some point. Even though I know everything that's going to happen and I'm not going to be surprised by it. That game really is pretty. And it's only like $15, I think, so... Like, a game like that, where there's no actual gameplay and it's kind of just like a walking simulator... I really don't mind if games like that exist. I know they piss some people off. Um, it's just that don't charge more than fifteen dollars for them. Don't even charge the twenty. They're really not worth it for that because they take like they typically take only like three or four hours to beat. And they typically don't have any branching paths. I think some of them do. Like, this is... This only looks like a walking simulator on the surface. For one, it's a demo. But like I said, you get an axe and a handgun. So there's actual gameplay to this demo. There's not just walking around. Also, technically, all of these keys, the dummy finger and things like that, they're all technically puzzles. So I would consider that gameplay, too. It doesn't just have to be combat or fighting. I would say that if your game has a bunch of puzzles in it, and you're walking around, you are not technically a walking simulator. You actually have gameplay. Oh yeah, you go in here. I think the valve might be in there, that's why you have to go in there. But I'm probably gonna get infected my first time. Actually, I should get infected the first time just to show you that ending. You'll see what I mean in a second. There's the valve. Uh, I'm infected. Yeah, did you get a good look at him? He kind of looks like... Everybody calls him the, uh... The Molder. He kind of resembles some of the enemies you've seen in previous Resident Evil games. Like, uh... That one in particular that eats your face and creates a new one from uh, RE6, he kind of reminds me of those enemies. It's not exactly, though, because of what happens to you. But yeah, if you get hit once by that thing, uh, you are infected by it. And here, I'll show you what happens. I 
Actually, I wonder if it'll even trigger, because I didn't get, like, a key for here. Nah, it, it, it won't trigger yet, because I didn't get the key for that. I know, I forgot to do something, that's why. There is a trigger that happens here. I have to go back to the basement. I missed a step. I oh, yeah, this way. It's the handgun, but I think there's a key I have to get too. I'm actually surprised they won't let you look down the iron sights. I think that thing can actually kill you as well, so I have to be careful. I think there's a key down there too. So... Where is it? Where is it? I just saw for a second. Oh god, I'm dead. I'm gonna die. Come on. Yeah. You are dead. This is the first time I've actually seen that screen. Okay, so... We've established that if you try and leave through the back door, the family man punches you in the face. Uh, there is a Resident Evil-like enemy in the basement. You can shoot him with the handgun, but that doesn't really do anything. Uh, I know there's a fire axe, but I don't know how to trigger it. I think I have to watch the video for that. Uh, there's an attic key down there. You have to get both the valve and the attic key. I think I should probably go for the attic key first. And then, uh, um... Because I want to get the actual ending, not just get killed by that thing. Um... So, go for the key, go for the valve. Don't even bother with the handgun. Be, uh, she's trying to kill the thing with the handgun. But I already know it doesn't work. I do like the fact that they let you trigger things that are in that you find out in the videotape that uh before actually watching it.
Sorry, I want to get the videotape this time. Oh yeah, you know what? I think the fire axe is in that locked. You know, like I said, I don't have everything on Ultra. I have ev pretty much everything on high settings. Not only does do I think that this looks better than it did on the PS4, I mean, from the streams that I watched, of course, so I'm probably not going to the uh, full picture. I haven't seen a single drop in frame rate. So the demo itself is optimized pretty damn well. I know where it is, I just can't grab it until I actually see it. I don't pick it up in the video because then I won't have it in the... Here's these two nut jobs again. Where did you find this guy? Give me a break, Pete. Hey, I only work with professionals. Speaking of which, make sure the sound is right this time. I don't want a repeat of Amarillo. That was two fucking years ago. I don't do ADR. Let me know if you see, see anything that I might Not miss. Again? Just don't be surprised. I'm trying to look. I swear, I remember Man. Skin Team saying this actually, that you might see Lisa first, in the forest. Then we shoot the intro, just like we always do. Just oh, you can move that. Show's name this time, okay? No problem. Tonight on Sewer Gators, another worthless fucking shithole. Happy? Ecstatic. Are we rolling? All right, let's go. <clears throat> Get out of the way. It's locked. After you. So, why are we in hell this time? Do you ever prep? What's the prep? Shitty house, spooky sounds. Ooh, is it haunted? I was an anchor, you know. We can sub, Pete. Not anchor. What's that? Nothing. What's the story, Andre? Okay, I looked back. We're too early. Abandoned farmhouse, missing family, foul play suspected. The usual. How long did you say this place has been abandoned? Three years. <coughs> Clancy, get a shot of this. Let's make a great cutaway. I don't know how so, you're uh, supposed to see the ghost. Hillbilly Joe and his family go missing. Not hillbillies, the Bakers. Jack and Marguerite Baker. And they were quiet, not backward. A lot of bad rumors about their son, Lucas. Bad seat, apparently. The lockpick. Ah, shit! I know I should have worn my good shoes. Oh, shit. Glad I had my shots. Although... This would make a great backdrop. Andre, what do you think? Andre? Andre? Andre! Clancy, you see where Andre went? Where is he? Unfucking believable. This is the last time I work with that guy. I mean, producers, they come and go. Oh, he's but pushing me. A man like you, Clancy? You stick with me.
Open the door, man. What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? I wouldn't be surprised if Andre's the mole. Andre? I don't know. Like, uh... Fuck is he? There's nothing to suggest Andre, that he is, you but you man? never do find his body. The, uh, the present world. Not in tape world. What the hell? Hurry up, man. I gotta go to the bathroom. You gotta be fucking kidding me. All right. I'm my bathroom dance. We, we find Andre and we go. I mean, fuck this show. Just wait. Ah, nothing down here. Andre dead. Yes, yes, you'll dash me against the stones. Okay, so I saw the lockpick, but I didn't pick it up, so let's see if the lockpick's actually around. Oh, it's still not there! How do I actually get the lockpick, then? I might actually look that up. Did you see the lockpick in the video? But the last time when I picked it up, like, it wasn't in my inventory in present day, so... There's nothing here, is there? No. Yeah, isn't the... Yeah, there's the dummy finger. Or there's the, the dummy thing. Five guests murdered, but where is unknown? Nothing to point to their final gravestone. I think that's supposed to give you a hint. I actually forgot to get that last time. It's a dummy finger, and you can actually combine that with the uh, the hands.
Yeah, what you're supposed to do with this is how you get the dirty coin. You're supposed to point this at several different things. I'm not sure if it's four or five things. You have to wait for the child to laugh. That means you got it successfully. And doing that will trigger the dirty coin to appear. And again, it's supposed to, uh... Getting the dirty coin will carry over to the main game, and it'll give you something special, but they haven't revealed what. There's only rumors. I've been in a basement once before, I just died to the molar enemy, uh, black cabbie driver. Welcome, by the way. I don't think that has to do with anything. At least I don't think so. I'm not sure why I decided to pick that up, either. Oh, yeah. keep forgetting where to find that damn thing. The lockpick is in the basement? Oh yeah, wait. Oh wait, that, yeah, that's, that only goes to the back door. I don't really need that one. And do I need to pick it up? <clears throat> do I need to pick it up in the videotape world in order to, for it to appear in the basement, or it doesn't matter? I kind of think it doesn't matter. Let's see, let's see. Where have I not gone yet? Where did I get that key last time? So that I can actually get to the basement. I don't have it in my in Yeah, I'm I, I, thankful I'm not that big of an idiot. Basement keys in the attic. Ah. And it doesn't matter. Okay. Oh yeah, here it is. Since I kind of want to get the infected end ending just to say that I got it, I don't really care that he hits me. I just don't want him to kill me.
Alright, I know you have to use that thing in order to stun him. Alright, so I got both the valve and the attic key this time. Now I can get the infected ending. Yeah, I don't mind that you're... See, here's the thing. I don't really mind right now. If uh, I'm, like, asking questions, I say, where do I get this or where do I get that? Uh, and you say something. Because I already saw, like, gameplay, so I only would need a reminder at the most. But when you say stuff like turn around, that does absolutely nothing to help me because the stream is delayed by over 20 seconds. Oh yeah, there's a lockpick down there, isn't there? Well, I don't really need to get that now. Like I said, I'm getting the affected ending, so I don't even need to worry about this. This is what I wanted to do first. Yeah, so he's alright telling me, like, how to actually get the lockpick, it's just that... I know it's in the basement, but like I said, when you say stuff... ...on the boiler before the door, okay. That helps. But remember, when you say stuff like, turn around, or on your right, or on your left... ...the stream is on, like, a 20 plus second delay. So I'm not gonna know what you're actually talking about when you give me instructions like that. Not being salty, I'm just trying to inform you. Because I realize that some people, like, may be new to Twitch and not realize that there's a delay. I'm going the wrong way, because I'm talking. Nothing. Just a man without a thing. Infected ending. Alright, next one's going to be a little more difficult because you have to actually finish it without uh, getting hurt by that thing. You can stun that thing with the body in the middle of the room, but it, uh, he has to be a certain distance. I think he has to be, like, right next to the thing in order to stun him. And like I said, shooting him or hitting him with the axe doesn't really do much. Like, shooting him does next to nothing. I think if you have all of the bullets collected, you might be able to incapacitate it. And I think you can cut its limbs off, uh, arms and limbs off with the axe, but that's pretty much all you can do with it. It can't actually die. But I think it can disappear. Because I remember watching a stream where you have to do the things with the dummy finger, and one of the things is to point it at the, uh, the doll in the basement in the middle of the floor. You might have seen it as I was passing it by. And in order to do that, the, uh... The, uh... The molder can't be in the room. The molder isn't in the room when I saw them do that. Don't need to watch that. I find that very hard to believe that they might have a smaller delay if they're a Twitch partner, but everybody has a delay. 
few different ways to handle it. Yeah, I'm because there's people that have done this God knows how many times. I'm definitely sure that there's a strategy involved in handling the molder. I feel like trying to stun it with the body in the middle of the room might be the best way. Uh, or at least to get the ending, not necessarily to get the dirty coin. I'm going to have to look that up, because there is no way I'm going to be able to figure it out on my own within the next hour and 45 minutes. Okay, so I got the fuse. I could probably practice, though. I think in order to see the ghost sightings in the tape world, you need to watch the video a second time. Because I know there's a couple of triggers for it in the tape world, but I haven't been able to actually, like, trigger it. There's two, there's one, like, outside on the front porch. There's one just inside that hallway, and then I know there's another one when you look up here. I don't know where the fourth one is. Oh, Beam! Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about a streamer, <laughs> not a website. Um, yeah, see, the problem with streaming on any other site but Twitch... Um, every site is probably better than Twitch by now. I hate to say it, but I use Twitch because it's probably the best way that I can get more viewers. Because I want people to watch my stream. Okay, I'm not getting the videotape. I have to go to the attic. Uh, like, I really wouldn't mind using Hitbox because, um, because there's practically no delay on that website either. But the problem is, it's a lot harder to find people to watch your stream on Hitbox. Especially since I have, like, friends that use Twitch all the time. Hey, Claude. How far in am I? Uh, I got two of the endings so far. I got bad ending and infected ending. So I got family manned. Wait, what the fuck? Huh. Alright, I got the ba the uh, basement key. Uh... Nah, I'm just getting the ending this run. Yeah, if only uh, Twitch's competition was actually more of a viable option to get viewers, but unfortunately it's not. I oh, don't no, wait. I'm not even bothering trying to get the handgun. on the boiler before the door. Not that I would really... Hold on. I just want to see if this is how you get the fire axe. I think when Resident Evil f uh, 7 actually does release, I will not watch a single thing of it. 
I will just go in blind. I really wish I would have done that with this teaser, but... Like, I, I follow a lot of Resident Evil... I follow a f quite a few Resident Evil streamers, so it's kind of hard to avoid spoilers in that sense. But I do really want to play this game when it comes out. Like, more so than other games that, uh, that I want to play that have released recently, like Dishonored 2 and uh, Deus Ex Mankind Divided. There's the Fire Axe. Alright, he's at the aim. I don't really know if this will do anything to the, uh, to the Mulder enemy. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know why I do that with horror games, <laughs> in particular. I really gotta stop doing that. I'm just too curious, though. Curiosity is killing me. Yeah, I, I'm definitely getting a good vibe that, like, Resident Evil 7 is going to be, like, a really good direction for the series. Especially because of the, the effort that they put into this demo alone. Like, holy shit. Okay. Fuck! And... That's a, that was a first. He hit me right off the bat. At least I can restart it. I don't have to, like, just keep doing it over, getting to the ending over and over. Do I run slower if I have the fire axe equipped? It didn't seem like it did. But that was the first time I got hit like that. Right, I can actually get this done pretty quickly. Again, like I said, uh, I don't have this game like running on Ultra. I have almost everything on high settings, and if this is how the game is actually going to look on PC in high settings, not even on the maximum, running at a solid 60, then like, holy shit, this is going to be like a good launch. I am so glad that I can like run this game <laughs> at 60 FPS. Sorry if I sound really technical. I don't know. I just... Things don't work out the way that they're supposed to every so often for me, so when they're, like, working perfectly, like, knock on wood, uh, I get a little giddy. Oh. 
No, you don't run any slower with the fire axe. I just have to make sure I'm, like, hugging the wall, I think. Because I think he's going to take a swipe at me regardless. Alright, uh, it seems like you can only stun him once. We're learning, at least. So, I have to make that stun count. I wonder. Alright, when I do it this time... Uh, cause it seems like he's back in that room for a while. So maybe if I stun him, uh... I sh I think I'll, um... I think I'll just stay at the door and try and get it open as fast as possible. If that doesn't work, then I'll think of something else. It, it is possible. It's not easy, but it is possible to, uh, to get out of there without a scratch. I've seen it done. Just seeing it happen and making it happen are two very different things. Uh, I think I had to leave before I saw you do it, uh, Claude. I oh, don't no, wait, I think I did see you kill it. But I don't know if I saw you actually finish- did you, uh, get the dirty coin? Do you have that on your YouTube channel? I can watch that at work tonight. Oh, you gave up. Alright. Yeah, if you want to actually try and go for the dirty coin and you don't really feel like figuring it out on your own, you can... Uh, Carcinogen SDA. I don't know if he's on... Uh, I don't know which one of his uh, YouTube channels it's on. But he, he uploaded his, um, his playthrough of it. Of how he got the endings. I have a raw cut when I edit it down on YouTube. Won't let me do it for a two hour video. That sucks. Cheated a little. Hey, whatever helps. <laughs> I wonder. I oh, don't wait, yeah. I still want to get the fire axe. I already established that I can get past them with it on, so. I 
I don't know if you have fatigue if you have fatigue or not, but all right. I think you do. Shit, I was too slow. I, I, the second that uh, I saw, felt myself stall when I got the key, I knew I was... I knew I didn't have enough time. It's trial and error. Which is kind of shitty, but... Try smashing the door first. Wouldn't that, won't that still trigger the, uh, the monster, though? And leaving and coming back in. I'll try that. Because, uh, my biggest concern is that he's going to corner me when I try and go for the key. But that might actually work. Like, playing it out in my head. If I manage to stun him, then... If the door's open right away... Then I think I can actually do it. Let me try that actually without bothering to get the, uh, fire axe. Um. I'm only doing this because I want to make sure he resets. No idea what the fuck this is for. Probably important. Oh shit! Oh shit! It worked! It worked! It worked! <laughs> I love you both.
When the authorities searched the house, no videotape or other corroborating evidence of murder was found. The man's description of the events were outlandish but detailed, however, they were discounted after a small amount of LSD was found in his possession. True ending. Alright, so I got all three endings. Now the hard part begins. <laughs>